The trial has begun in the case against Richard Ross, the man charged with murdering an Albuquerque couple and fleeing the state with their car in 2018. News 13's George Gonzalez has more on today's opening statements. Opening statements were heard in district court in the case against Richard Ross, who is facing a long list of charges, including identity theft, kidnapping, and first-degree murder. He's accused of killing John and Deborah Embry in 2018. He took their vehicle, he stole their identification, used their credit cards, and at the end, we're going to ask you to find Richard Ross guilty. As the state presented its case against the now 44-year-old Richard Ross, the prosecutor in the case took the jury back to how Ross had become acquainted with the Embrys, meeting John at MDC a few months prior. John was released uh, before Mr. Ross was, and he indicated to Mr. Ross that once uh, he was released, he could call Mr. Embry and Mr. Embry would provide a place for him to stay. Both prosecutors and the defense agree, saying Ross accepted John's offer, helping the Embrys around the house with home repairs. But on December 7th, 2018, Albuquerque police officers went into the Embrys' home in near Unser and Montaño and discovered their bodies. Based upon the clear amount or the sheer amount of blood um, that was present in the home, um, it was obvious to them that there was some sort of crime scene and so they quickly exited the home through the window that they came in through. While prosecutors argue Ross should be found guilty of the crime, his defense attorney says the case against his client is flawed, saying the Ambrose's lifestyle opens up the case to a pool of suspects. They both, as adults, decided it was fine uh, to invite other people into the home for sexual activity. They knew where the Ambrose lived, they'd been in their home, and I think the evidence will show that they were around that home in early December. George Gonzalez, KRQ News 13. Ross's trial is expected to continue tomorrow with witness testimony.